In today's law and politics, I support the next background check and want the gaps and inefficiencies in the current system addressed. What I can't support is putting additional burden on an existing flawed system at the expense of 10% of law-abiding citizens exercising their rights to bear arms for self-defense. As the owner of Crucible Arms, Kevin Vick is a federally licensed firearms dealer. With the national gun control debate apparently moving in the direction of increased support for universal background checks, the National Rifle Association seems to have settled on the argument that this would just be the first step toward confiscation. This is Association CEO Wayne LaPierre. At the very heart of their anti-gun agenda is universal background checks. This so-called universal background check is aimed at one thing, registering your guns. And when another tragic opportunity presents itself, that registry will be used to confiscate your guns. However, the gun control debate is taking place not just at the national level, but also in state legislatures. Appearing before the Minnesota Senate Judiciary Committee, Kevin Vick came armed, but with facts and figures. First, he challenged some of the major statistical assumptions underlying the call for universal background checks. If you eliminate inheritance and the passing down of heirlooms to family members, the number of firearm transfers not subject to the next check is approximately 10%. The intentionally misleading 40% figure being bandied about is simply a falsehood, based solely on a 20-year-old survey conducted prior to the establishment of our current NICS system. Setting aside the mass shootings so prominently featured in the gun debate, Vic also argues that background checks will be ineffective in addressing our biggest problem of gun violence. Criminals have not and will not subject to any kind of background check. 73% of guns used in crimes are obtained through straw purchases and theft. It's not through private sales. Chronically recidivist criminals that have been put back on the streets commit the overwhelming majority of gun crimes. Pointing to flaws in the current background check system, Vic calls for improvements in those areas, stronger measures against straw purchasers, and keeping convicted gun offenders in jail. Meanwhile, in the U.S. Senate, Oklahoma Republican Tom Coburn threw cold water on expectations that any deal on universal background checks will be reached. I don't think we're that close to a deal, and there absolutely will not be record-keeping on legitimate law-abiding gun owners in this country. And if they want to eliminate the benefits of actually trying to prevent the sales to people who are mentally ill and to criminals, all they have to do is create a record-keeping, and that will kill this bill. For today's Law and Politics, I'm Ken McNeil. Thanks for listening. You want to build your law practice. We want to help. At Five Aces Media, we show attorneys how to exploit the incredible potential of radio. Enhance your firm's reputation and build name recognition while telling the people who need your services exactly what you do. If you're hearing this, then so is your next client. Visit our website at fiveaces.us. For an unfair advantage in building your law practice, nobody can beat Five Aces. That web address again is the number five, aces.us.